Hi, I'm Alan Sandgren, and this video will go over UL listing of fire alarm systems. UL standards are referenced by number and title. This video is focused on UL864, the standard for fire alarm systems and accessories. One standard may be used to evaluate multiple product types, which are categorized by product categories or category code numbers (CCNs) like UOJZ and UOXX. These letter codes aren't acronyms, the letters don't stand for anything, but they are useful when searching UL's online certifications directory. Each category code has a title. For UOJZ, it is Control Units System. Now let's talk about fire alarm systems. At its most basic form, a fire alarm system detects a fire and notifies the people on the premises. When intended for installation in a house or any dwelling, the fire alarm control unit is investigated to UL-985 Household Fire Warning System Control Units and listed under the product category UTOU Control Units and Accessories Household System Type. For any other type of property, the equipment is evaluated to UL-864 and listed under UOJZ. UL-864 is used to evaluate the equipment. It has requirements under construction, protection against injury to persons, installation instructions and wiring diagram, operating instructions, and product markings. The tests cover operational performance, risk of fire and shock, manufacturing and production line testing. NFPA 72, National Fire Alarm and Signaling Code, by National Fire Protection Association, along with other NFPA standards, govern the application, installation, location, performance, inspection, testing, and maintenance of fire alarm systems. Fire alarm control units are categorized by service types. A control unit that detects a fire and notifies people on premises is a local service type. When multiple control units of a local service type can be networked together, they are described as network local. A local service type control unit that is intended to be installed aboard a commercial vessel is a marine service type. A fire alarm control unit that detects a fire and sends the signal to a central supervising station off-premises is a remote station, proprietary, or central station service protected premises unit type. These three services are similar and differ mainly in where the off-premises signal is sent. Conversely, the equipment that receives the signal at the central supervising station are remote station, proprietary, or central station service receiving unit type. Auxiliary service is a system that uses the municipal fire alarm system for transmitting a fire alarm to the public service communication center. It uses the same equipment as the alarm transmitted manually from the fire alarm boxes located on the street. A control unit that releases an extinguishing agent upon the detection of fire alarm condition is a releasing service type. This is also for control units that release non-extinguishing and non-water based, such as releasing fire doors. A local control unit with releasing is listed under UOJZ as a local and releasing service type. A control unit can have multiple services. A control unit with releasing service but not local service is listed under SYZV control units releasing device. Releasing devices and releasing device accessories are listed under SZNT and SYSW respectively. Fire alarm accessories such as graphic annunciators, input and output modules, keypads, and printers are listed under UOXX Control Unit Accessories System. A system that notifies people at the protected premises that there is a fire and provides instructions and evacuation signals via live or recorded messages is an Emergency Voice Alarm Communications Type or EVAC. These are listed under UOQY Emergency Communication and Relocation Equipment. The amplifiers are listed under UUMW, Speakers and Amplifiers for Fire Protective Signaling Systems. UL-864 is also used to evaluate smoke control systems, which control fans and dampers to produce airflow and pressure differences across smoke barriers to limit and direct smoke movement. These are listed under the product category UUKL, Smoke Control System Equipment. Power supply units intended for application as components of the aforementioned fire alarm systems are listed under UTRZ power supply units. If the fire alarm system also connects to or handles other signaling such as burglar alarms, mass notification, and access control, then the equipment is evaluated not only to UL-84 but also to the other UL standards that apply. 
Thank you for watching this video. I know this was a lot of industry jargon and product category codes, but I hope this helps you navigate through the different fire alarm system types and UL listings. Go to ul.com and click on the online certifications directory located at the very bottom right of the webpage to research manufacturers and products with current UL listings. Use the UL category codes to quickly search through the product types. Also, look at the guide card under each product category for more information. Thank you.